congratulate, unite against fascism for another great achievement, for another milestone. Their style of work, their energy and the skill and determination of this great anti-racist movement will defeat the fascists in the 21st century as we defeated them before in the 1970s and 1980s in Britain. First I want to make a careful distinction that I would like you all to think about. It's a distinction between racism and fascism. Fascists are people who use racism to whip up hatred against minorities as a means of themselves gaining political power. With them and against them, there can be no compromise. We have to smash fascist organizations in Britain. But racism is a wider problem. But the good news, it's a problem that can be resolved. We all know people who have or still harbor racist thoughts and ideas. With them, the task is not to smash them. There are too many of them, and that would be wrong in any case. The task is to win them, to persuade them that those who are trying to divide them from people like them, who just happen to be a different color or a different faith, are fooling them in order to fill their own pockets and to defend their own interests. So every one of you has to search out amongst your workmates, amongst fellow students, amongst your neighbors, maybe even amongst your own families, and persuade them that black and white must unite to fight the real enemy of exploiters and warmongers who are deliberately dividing our people for their own ends. Lastly, I'd like to make this point. None of us, hardly any of us, I suspect, are old enough to remember the 1930s, but we have to study the history well. In that period, this fascist phenomenon used Jews as the whipping boys, as the scapegoats, in order to climb themselves into political power. The Muslims today have been designated by the fascists for exactly the same role as the Jews were designated in the 1930s. So, you don't have to be a Muslim. You might not even be a big fan of this or that aspect of Muslim life. But know this, when the fascists scapegoat the Muslims, it's just a precursor to turning their guns on you. So defend the Muslims and defend yourselves in the practice. My very, my very last point is this, because you're here for the music as well as the speeches. We have to ourselves be united. We have to refuse to allow any political, sectional, sectarian differences between us to divide our movement in any way. That's why I congratulate Unite Against Fascism for its determination to win the broadest possible support for this anti-racist movement in the traditions of the great anti-Nazi league which was victorious before and the UAF 
will be victorious now. Thank you very much indeed.